Oh gosh, this is definitely broken. Oh wow. Our client Aspen brought in her little kitty kit. And Kit's leg looks like a loose branch blowing in the breeze. You can definitely tell that there is something very abnormal with this limb. I know she's purring and seems sweet, but I do think we should maybe give her some pain medication. Can you just kind of hold on to her here? Yeah. Can you tell me what happened with her? She went missing for a couple days, which I already knew was not like her, because she's normally the first one to greet me when I walk outside. So I actually walked around our property, and I called for her. She never came. I went to go leave for work that night, and she was in our garage. Saw her try to walk towards me. OK. And I knew something was wrong. I don't know if she got hit. I don't know if something got a hold of her. I feel like if a coyote got a hold of her, I wouldn't have her right now. Yeah, <laughs> I agree with that. It's definitely fractured. I can palpate the fracture, but I'll run her back to x-ray, and then we'll come up with a plan. Is that OK? okay. Yep, that works. All right. Come here, you. Hey, honey. You want to come help me with x-rays? It's OK. It's OK. That thing is wobbling. This isn't a diagnostic x-ray to see if it's broken. It's just how it's broken. Well, we got an ouchie, honey. Straight across to radius and ulna. Wow. I'll go let mom know what we found. All right. I'll go set her up in a kennel. Well, Aspen, we've got an answer. It's good news and bad news. So there is the fracture. Oh, that's... You can see there's the end of the ulna and the end of the radius, so they're kind of crisscross like this. My vote is to try and splint it. We'll get this taken care of. And if you want to go home and prepare a spot for her to become your new house cat, <laughs> at least for the next couple of weeks, I think we can get her fixed up. Awesome. Thank All you. Right, super. Cat bones are like magic magnets. They really like to find each other, and they like to heal. So as long as you provide stability to that fracture and keep those bones by each other, it's remarkable how well they heal. You ready to help me with this kit, kit kitty? I am. <laughs> kit, kit kitty? I brought in Ben's help for this splint because Ben's really good at splinting. I don't know what it is with mine that fall off. <laughs> so you know, you got to know when to hold them and know when to play your cards. And, and this one's where Ben's just better. All right, let's start with some stirrups. When we apply a splint, the first thing that we do is put some tape on the leg that will provide traction to get those bones lined up. I think you're doing a great job over there. I think we're OK. I think okay. that's pretty good. And then we put a stronger material around the splint over the padding. Go tight now. Not that tight. Pretty tight. Don't want her foot to fall off. That's why my splints stay and yours fall off. <laughs> a little tighter. Come on, you got to cinch it down one time, and then you can go loose. Unfortunately, Ben knows he's good at splinting, and so he wears this crown around the clinic. It's this imaginary, I am the king of splinting crown. And you know what? I'll let him wear it, because he is good, and I do need his help. I'd give this a solid A. Kit is a super sweet kitty, and I'm really glad we were able to help her. And I can't wait to see her in a couple weeks when we recheck this split. You're going to feel like a whole new kitty cat. <laughs> <laughs>